Hi everyone and welcome. As I promised earlier, today I'm uploading a video on how to use advanced settings to get the best results out of Flux Redux. In this video, we'll take styles from three input images to generate our custom output. And I'll also show you how to improve the results using LoRes. Most importantly, we'll cover how to achieve style transfer while maintaining a consistent character. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that like button so we can beat the algorithm together. Let's jump right in. First, let's take a look at the workflow. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it might seem. You can download everything you need from the link in the description, including all the models we're using. We're starting with the Flux Dev Model FP8, then adding a LoRa loader. For this demo, I'm using the Amateur Photography version 6 to boost realism, setting it at a 0.7 strength. Of course, as always, we have our dual clip loader. And we also need to load the Flux Redux dev model as our style model, plus the Siglip Clip Vision model. Don't worry, all links and resources are conveniently located below. When it comes to the positive prompt, keep it simple. Don't mention colors or styles, instead, follow this structure. Start by describing the character, then add the objects, and finally, the environment. We'll see this in our input images in just a few moments. Now let's move to the workflow details. At the bottom, we have three Redux Advanced nodes, each connected to an image. The first Redux Advanced node is focused on our character. Here, we only want to capture the style and pose, not the background. To do this, we'll use the Mask Editor. As you can see, this is the new and improved Mask Editor, which has some really handy tools for making the masking process smoother. For our first image, I've masked only our AI character, Bonnie. Next, we have the second Redux Advance node, which will focus on an object in our final image. We want our character to be sitting in a gaming chair. So let's mask the chair using the mask editor again. Our final Redux Advance node is for the background or the environment where we want our character to be. In this case, it's an empty room with a wooden floor and blue LED lighting on the ceiling. Let's connect our masks to their corresponding Redux Advance nodes. I'm using 30 steps for the K sampler. Now, let's generate the image and see how it turns out. The whole process takes about a minute. For reference, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And here's our result. As you can see, we got most of the elements just right. Our character has the same clothing style and is posing similarly to our original character, Bonnie. She's also sitting in a red and black gaming chair just like the one we masked in the second Redux Advanced node. Plus, the environment looks perfect, with the blue LED lighting at the top and the wooden floor just as we planned. The LoRa Amateur Photography version 6 really brought our image to life. If we bypass that LoRa and generate the same image with the same seed and settings, we end up with this result here. As you can see, the quality isn't quite the same. The skin texture and facial features just don't compare to what we achieved with the LoRa. Now, I'm going to use a custom LoRa I trained specifically for our AI character Bonnie. She's a young redhead, and her LoRa is applied in our first Redux Advanced node. If you're interested in creating your own consistent character, I've got a 6 hour plus course that guides you from start to finish with Comfy UI. It's only $42, and as a special bonus, you'll get free access to Canva Pro. This is a limited time offer, so visit pixelailabs.com and start learning today. Back to our workflow. I'll add the trigger word for my LoRa in the positive prompt and then generate the image using the same settings. As you can see here, we have our character Bonnie in the new style. And now we can start generating images inspired by the specific look we want for her. Let's move on to some other examples to showcase the power of Flux Redux Advanced. Here we have our character painting Van Gogh's famous Starry Night in an outdoor setting. 
We mask the woman painting on a canvas in the first image. Mask the starry night painting on a stand in the second image. And use a third image with a natural background to inspire our final environment. In the positive prompt, I wrote, Photography of a young redhead woman in a natural environment, painting on a canvas on a wooden stand. Simple, right? You'll notice I didn't mention Van Gogh's painting or her clothing. We want to get all those details from the reference images. And here are our results. Another example, this time an underwater scene. First we focused on our character swimming underwater, then on golden fish in the second image, and finally on an underwater view for the background. Together we ended up with this beautiful composition. We can also easily switch our character by changing the trained Laura as you can see here. Each time we generate an image, it will be heavily inspired by the reference images allowing you to truly unleash your imagination with Redux. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank everyone who supports this channel. All the YouTube followers, Pixel AI Labs course students, and paid members. You all rock and you're the reason I can keep uploading content and helping you tackle any issues you encounter. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next few days.